Hi, I want to do a quick update on my progress on Mark Hoverson's Million Dollar Day. Uh, if you're not familiar with Mark Hoverson, he's got a great new program, a great new training uh, that he did this past week, and he, he refers to it as his Million Dollar Day. Uh, and basically, you just ask yourself, if somebody were to give me a million dollars, if I were to finish my list for the day, could I get it done? And really focusing on those things that are really eating away at your mental bandwidth. So those things that have been kicking around for uh, for an extended period of time. And the goal for the program is collectively to knock out 500 years worth of activities that have been sitting in your mind and just be done with them. So this past Sunday, I, I did a, a half a day. You can see I, I've got my list here. So first of all, I went through and he, uh, he gave us some recommendations of different categories. So I've got three pages of things here to go through and get completed. So of those three pages, I went through and simplified uh, and kind of made one list here of 20 items that even though I don't have a full, I can't dedicate you know, a full 12, 16 hour day to it right now, I can break that up into a couple uh, four, six, and eight hour days. So this past Sunday, uh, I made a, a good dent on it, uh, got started early, and worked through until about one o'clock. And so just really simple things that, that just need to be done. Uh, so the first thing was I filled the holes from the old thermostat. So I, we changed the thermostat a couple of years ago, you know, and then there, there have been, you know, two holes where that old thermostat was, and every time I walked by it in the hall, I'm like, well, I should do that. You know, <laughs> so finally I just did it. So that's two years. You know, it's been kicking around in my head for two years. Uh, my wife's car needed a new air filter. I actually had the air filter, um, and it was so cold that I didn't want to put it in. It. It's just been sitting uh, in the garage next to her car for the last month. So finally, you know, it's a five-minute, five-minute project. I just went ahead and put that air filter in. So my lights are going crazy here in the office. So I got that air filter, that's been a month. Uh, the will, you know, we have our wills all done. We, we, we completed that process, have it all done. They just have to be signed and notarized and sent back. And, you know, they got put into a drawer uh, and they've been sitting there for two years, uh, just not finalized. And, and, you know, that's one of those things that it's not that big a deal, but it, at the same time, it's, it's in the back of my mind that we gotta get that done. So I made an appointment to set, get set up with a notary uh, to get those done. So that's another two years. And, uh, you know, a while back, before we moved into our, our current house, there was a, a leak in the skylight and it caused some rust and some, some cracks and stuff. So I, I actually, I patched it with, <clears throat> you know, the, the spackling or joint compound, whatever you call it. I, I, Put it on there, got it all smooth and flat, and it just needed to be sanded. I, I, it's been seven months of, you know, it just needs to be sanded down so it's nice and flat and smooth. Uh, so I, I got that done. So, and that was, uh, just in that one day, I knocked out, you know, six years and eight months worth of, you know, procrastinated activities that, uh, that are done. And the goal of, the goal of the whole deal is, you know, once you can knock out all the stuff that is kicking around and really chewing at your mental bandwidth, then your mind opens up and you can receive all these new ideas and really become prolific. Uh, and that's that's something that I think we all want to achieve is that prolific, uh, whether it's product creation or just new ideas, or just having more energy, getting more stuff done, the stuff that comes in every day, instead of, you know, having to always think about, well, what did I not get done? You're always moving forward instead of living in the past. So this whole list, if when I get these 20 items done, that's 12 years and 11 and a half months worth of activities that have just kind of been sitting there, not getting done, and they need to get done. So that's the goal. If you'd like to join me uh, in participating in Mark Hoverson's challenge, uh, just feel free to click on the link right below, or in the description of the video, you'll find a link and you can check it out.